Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we are going to show some love to beautiful Jean Grey, the freaking goddess of Marvel Future Fight, and she should be. She's the phoenix, for Christ's sakes. A uh, good while back, we did a stage 99 against Ebony. Been a long time uh, with old Jean, and I was curious, can she do call 99? And the answer is yes yes she can now it's not as op as what we did with sharon rogers i don't honestly guys when it comes to sharon rogers she's just uh she's just on a whole nother level when it comes to burst damage which really synergizes with the all defense down but gene is one powerful powerful mofo everybody always talks about how great she is in pvp and she is she's freaking amazing you know, she's freaking amazing, and that's because of her uh, fist skill. This sucker here, which actually penetrates. So if you have a guard break immunity obelisk on your character, or they have guard break immunity, she will actually penetrate that crap and pretty much stun lock the opponent to where they can't do a damn thing. And she's so damn strong, she pretty well, pretty well runs through them. It's just... I mean, she's really insane, but she is still, the best thing about this girl is she's versatile. I mean, she's amazing for GBR. She's amazing for the world bosses. She's amazing in PvP. She's just wonderful, and she's super easy to play, whether you're playing with a damage proc, playing with a CTP of Rage, whatever have you. She's just easy to play. You can pretty well build her any way you want, and she's going to get it done. So the team that we're going to use today is this team right here. And we're going to use Ghost Panther because he is going to offer 45% damage to the super villains and he's going to increase fire damage by 50%. Now Jean Grey, the only fire damage she has is from her tier 3, which is really mainly where all of the damage is going to be coming from that we're going to be synergizing with the all defense down. Then we take a look at Ancient One and we're going to use Ancient One because of his tier 2 passive which is going to increase damage to all elemental damage by 25%. So Jean has mind damage and fire damage on her kit, in her kit. So he's going to be buffing all of that at once because mind damage and fire damage is elemental damage, which is great. And the leadership is beautiful. Applies to blast types, 45% increase of energy attack. And luckily Jean is a blast type. So now let's take a look at the build. So she has 62,700 energy attack. Jesus. She has 120 attack speed, which is no big deal. This is going to go up to max attack speed from her fist skill. She has 52 crit rate. That's going to be maxed out from her fist skill. She has 190 critical damage, and she has max ignore defense, and she has max skill cooldown. She also has 46% dodge, which is actually very low because we are running with a CTP of rage, which... For PvE content is optimal and honestly you could run her with a CTP of Rage in PvP content too because of that freaking ridiculous fist skill that she has. All of her slots are amplified. She has all five star Urus and you know what can we say about G man? She really is the ultimate freaking queen. I mean she's just she's just ridiculous guys. Ridiculous. You know you got nine seconds of invincibility on her tier three you got remove active buff from target you got silence penetrate everything and she can penetrate everything from her fist skill as well and she has a hundred percent chance to penetrate with fire immunity effect which is useless in this but pretty cool in shadowland uh i'm not going to go through all of this her two skill very important important because you get that three second time freeze which we will be using her fourth skill, which does energy damage, but it has a stun and a bind, but it has a lot of damage. And then her fifth skill, and this really is the money maker, guys. Uh, you got the 80% the 80 chance to penetrate, super armor barrier, shield, all damage, immune, invincible, which is ridiculous. And it lasts for 10 seconds. You can keep this up the entire time. And she's got a 45% all attack buff, 10% 10, 10 all speed buff, and 45% crit rate buff, which means you only need... 30% crit rate to max out a crit rate. This is up for 10 seconds and removes incapacitation. This, I mean, God am I, she's just insane. She's just insane. And she's got this wonderful leadership, remove all debuffs, which we will not be utilizing at all. She has the revive, which is freaking bonkers. You know, a character with that's just has this much survivability. You know, something I shouldn't even highlight is her third skill. I mean, look at this thing. This is ridiculous. 
You got a 5% decrease of mine resistance down that applies to world boss. You got accumulates 120% of true damage regardless of defense and dodge rate stats. It's crazy. You got the recovery, which is insane. The more damage she takes, the more she recovers. It's just stupid. It's stupid how powerful she is. Oh, I'm sorry. She has a fully awakened overdrive set, and this is the way to go in my opinion because you're going to get 10% all speed from her fist skill. You'll always have that up. And we're rocking that CTP of Rage. we got the max stats on it. Not the max crit rate or dodge. Crit rate isn't even important because, like I said, her fist skill has a massive crit rate buff, so this doesn't really matter. But the dodge does kind of suck. And then we got the ignore boss damage decrease by 60%. And then we have a mythic uniform. And you take a look at the uniform effect. 15% increase of all attack, which is massive, guys. She's just got a massive amount of freaking damage. Take a look at the uniform options. She's got Dodge from Nightcrawler. We got Ancient Venom's uh, uniform, which is actually a decent uniform, but I mean, he is a paywall, so then eh. we got an HP increase, which is massive for her uh, from the old Iron Fist uniform. And we got a little Dodge from War Machine. I think you can buy this for gold, but don't quote me on that. I'm not really for sure, guys. And then we have Black Cat, which unfortunately you got to pay crystals for, so that's never going to happen. But you could get some really good stats from that. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take her into some world boss action, and we're going to see how she does. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so we already talked about the team, you guys. Uh, and the cool thing about this is a lot of players can use Jean Grey for this, especially if they have Weapon Hex. So you're going to see what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to hit the co-op. I hit the 4 or 5. There we go. Not bad damage, not bad. You see the strikers? We got Silver Surfer. We got Rachel. For a little bit of mind control, we got Weapon Hex, Thanos, and Captain America. We are using the Captain America Weapon Hex combo. And we're going to use Rachel just to kind of mind control, uh, call a little bit. We really don't need it, but it does make your life a lot easier. Notice I'm not using the Tier 3, guys. I'm not using it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And a nice little trick with it is you hit your co-op, your 2, then your 4, 5. You wait for the bar to go down a little bit, then you hit your Tier 3. And you can see the amount of damage. Now, there's a trick to call, okay? There's a trick to when you play against this bastard, all right? And this is something I haven't mentioned before. But whenever he does a certain skill, do not try to use your co-op skill. And I'll show you when. So you see this skill he's doing right now? He throws his axe down or hammer down or whatever. And he's got that little highlighted orange in front of him. Or when he does the purple, don't do it. See that? Do not use your co-op when he does that. Wait, wait. Because a lot of times your all defense down won't apply. But afterwards, you can like I just did. When he gets ready to go into his other skills besides the one you just saw, that's when you can use it. If you try using the co-op, the all defense down doesn't seem to apply. I mean, I tried it over and over, and it just doesn't seem to apply when he's doing that particular skill or when he's throwing down the purple. So always be aware of what he is doing. We're going to wait. We're going to wait around a little bit. We're going to wait around. We don't want to get time frozen. There we go. See how he's doing that? He's punching a little bit. That's a great time to use your co-op, then your two, then your four or five. And you want to make sure you get the five off before you do the tier three so you get all those attack buffs. I mean, guys, look at her, man. Look at her. Melting, old boy. Melting them. Now, you're not going to do a whole lot of damage other than that. But, you know, how many times have we done this? And it's usually the tier three with the all defense down is really where it's at. And even if you guys got a damage proc, say you got a damage proc, hit your co-op, hit your two, then your five, then your tier three. That's how I would do it if I was running with a damage proc. Of course, make sure your damage proc is off cooldown when you do that. Look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. You could even do something like, if you want, you could put uh, uh, mind damage leadership in there, which would only buff for mind damaging skills. And then maybe have Ghost Panther to increase the damage for her Tier 3. I mean, there's all kinds of things. You can put She-Hulk instead of Ancient One and still do this. You don't need Ghost Panther. You can put in Shuri. You can put in Valkyrie. You can put in Coulson. Coulson actually would be amazing because he has that 20% guaranteed critical rate, which she doesn't have, especially if you have a CTP of Rage. Look at this. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful to see Jean Grey doing this. We're going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to use that time freeze and take Cole out of that little phase. And something I like about this clear is 
You know, I don't I mean, guys, I love the whole strategic thing where we're running around doing all that, but it's nice to have a character that so, has so much durability and survivability that you really don't worry. You keep her in the whole time, plus she has so much damage, you can keep her in the whole time, just getting that all defense down with her tier 3. Watch this, we're going to wait, we hit the co-op, the 4, 5, and then the tier 3. You really don't even need to hit the 4, it's just a habit of mine, I always hit the 4 first. We're kind of low on live. We're going to get that third skill off, and boom, we're going to start healing. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, she gets snared all the freaking time, but who cares? Like I said, her survivability and her durability is just bonkers. So, especially if you get off the third skill before she gets snared, I mean, you don't have to worry about nothing. Plus, she's got the crowd control from her second skill. And the reason I use the co-op, then the second skill, then the 4 or 5 tier 3... I use the second skill after the co-op because if you try using the 4 or 5 after the co-op, it doesn't seem to want to cancel into those skills. It seems like it cancels them too a lot easier than you can go into your 4 or 5 tier 3. And look at that time, guys. Super fast, amazing, amazing, Jean Grey freaking tearing it up. So guys, let me know what you think about Jean Grey getting it done, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.